What if everything you thought was religion was actually science? Sanatana Dharma, often reduced to the word Hinduism, is not a religion in the Western sense. It is not bound by a single book, a prophet, or dogma. It is a science of consciousness, a vast civilizational framework that seeks one thing above all else, to understand the nature of reality, starting with the human body. From the spiraling galaxies above to the silent breath within, Sanatana Dharma sees no separation. The microcosm of the body mirrors the macrocosm of the universe, and at the center of this knowledge is not just stretching, not just postures, but a neurosomatic science, a way to rewire the brain, rejuvenate the body, and realign with cosmic law. Long before Hippocrates, long before Newton, long before Galileo looked to the stars, Indian rishis looked within, charting maps of the breath, the spine, the chakras, and the subtle flows of energy. This wasn't faith. This was observation, replication, and transformation. Modern science is just beginning to catch up. Harvard calls it cellular therapy. MIT calls it neuroplastic enhancement. As Swami Vivekananda declared at the Chicago Parliament of Religions, each soul is potentially divine. The goal is to manifest this divinity within by controlling nature, external and internal. And the tool to do that? Yoga. Let us now begin this journey, not into mythology, but into a living science, a gift from Bharat to the world. Yoga. Once seen as an exotic tradition of contortionists and monks, now practiced by over 300 million people worldwide, yoga's earliest roots trace back to the Indus Valley civilization as early as 3000 BCE. Archaeological finds reveal seals of meditating figures in classic yogic postures. The Rigveda mentions breath control and meditation, but it was in the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali where the system was codified. Patanjali wrote, Yoga is the stilling of the fluctuations of the mind. This was not religion. It was an early form of neuropsychology, a system to optimize human potential. Ancient Indian knowledge systems also link yoga to divine wisdom. In Hindu Itihasa, Lord Shiva is revered as the Adiyogi, the first yogi. According to yogic tradition, he transmitted the science of yoga to the Saptarishis, seven sages, spreading it across the world. The Atharva Veda, one of the four sacred Vedas, also refers to healing through herbs, chants, and postures tying together medicine and meditation. Pranayama, the control of breath, is not mystical anymore. Studies at Harvard Medical School and AIM's Delhi show that slow, controlled breathing reduces blood pressure, increases parasympathetic nervous activity, balances cortisol, the stress hormone, enhances heart rate variability. Dr. Richard Brown, Columbia University psychiatrist says, yogic breathing can profoundly affect brain activity. It's a backdoor into the autonomic nervous system. Modern medicine confirms, your breath is your remote control to the brain. While yoga asanas were once seen as exotic poses, Today, they are part of rehabilitation medicine. According to the Mayo Clinic, yoga helps manage symptoms of arthritis, chronic back pain, asthma, fibromyalgia. A 2017 study in the Annals of Internal Medicine found yoga just as effective as physical therapy in treating lower back pain. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Lauren Fishman conducted trials on scoliosis, osteoporosis, and carpal tunnel syndrome, finding yoga not only safe, but therapeutic. In many cases, it restored function where surgery was considered. In ancient India, healing was deeply linked to yoga and Ayurveda. Lord Danvantari, the Hindu god of medicine, is believed to have descended with the nectar of immortality. Amrita, 
Ayurveda, yoga's sister science, was used to restore physical harmony alongside yogic practices. Yoga isn't just for the body, it's a brain enhancer. The University of Illinois conducted MRI scans that showed increased gray matter in yoga practitioners. It improves memory retention, focus and attention span, emotional regulation. By 2020, Johns Hopkins meta-analysis concluded yoga significantly reduces depression and anxiety. Yoga therapy is as effective as medication in some cases of depression, says Dr. P. Murali Duraiswamy of Duke University. Yoga is now used in the U.S. military for PTSD recovery, in corporate wellness programs, and even in public schools. Yoga is not just reactive, it's preventive medicine. A study published in Oxidative Medicine and Cellular Longevity showed that yoga reduces oxidative stress and increases antioxidant levels. Other benefits supported by peer-reviewed studies boosts immune function by increasing interleukin levels, balances thyroid and insulin regulation, enhances melatonin, improving sleep. In cancer patients, yoga has been shown to reduce fatigue, enhance quality of life, and aid in recovery. Yoga affects gene expression related to stress and inflammation. Frontiers in Immunology, 2013. In the early 20th century, yoga reached the West through pioneers like Swami Vivekananda and Paramahansa Yogananda. But it was the 1960s, when icons like the Beatles visited Rishikesh, that yoga became mainstream in America. Today, yoga is an $80 billion global industry. Yet many still don't know that what they're practicing isn't just physical exercise, it's a spiritual science a neurosomatic toolkit developed in ancient India. Yoga is not about twisting yourself into a pretzel. It's about untwisting the knots of stress, disease, and disconnection. Ancient India gave the world a system that bridges medicine, psychology, and spirituality. From Lord Shiva's yogic stillness to Danvantari's healing grace, from Ayurveda's medicinal roots to Patanjali's psychological clarity, yoga stands as a holistic science. In the words of BKS Iyengar, yoga teaches us to cure what need not be endured and endure what cannot be cured. It's time the world saw yoga not as a trend, but as a timeless science, perhaps India's greatest contribution to humanity. What if the cure for tomorrow's diseases lies in the breath of yesterday's sages? What if the science of the future is hidden in the scriptures of the past? Sanatana Dharma doesn't ask for belief. It invites exploration. And yoga. Yoga is the ancient key that could unlock humanity's next evolution.